Hey, it is me and I am back. Today we will be launching a Saturn V mission to the moon. Now you might be wondering to yourself, why am I launching a Saturn V mission if plenty of players have already done this and there's dozens of videos about this on YouTube? Why are you doing this again? This is just overused content. The Saturn V is overrated. Well, I know that. But if you might not have known, the update is finally out already. Not the career mode update, the landmark update. And by landmarks, I mean like sections on planets that have names. For instance, Olympus Mons or the Sea of Tranquility. That's why I'm launching this mission. I'm going to land the Lunar Lander on the Sea of Tranquility. And it can't fail because this is technically the Apollo 11 mission right here. So we just staged the rocket. Uh, there goes the second stage, actually. I really like the new camera movement that Steph added to the to the game. It, it kind of gives this uh, KSP vibe a little more because the camera kind of shifts to the center of the um, of both spacecraft, you, if you know what I mean. All right, entered orbit and set the moon as my target because I'm going to the moon. If you guys want me to send the Saturn V somewhere else, I'll be happy to. I'll send it to Mars because that'd be cool. Speaking of Mars, like I wasn't expecting so many landmarks on Mars. There's like there's like six. Okay, there's Gale Crater, um, Hellas Planitia, I think that's what it's called. Utopia Planitia something else. What was it called? Uh, the place where they land in the Martian. What was it called? It was... Uh, I'm trying to remember right now. Damn it, you, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you've seen the Martian, that, that, uh, the name for it appears at the beginning of the movie. Yeah, that one. And also, Olympus Mons is there, which is cool. No Jezero Crater, though, which is sad. But, I mean, I guess Steph uh, worked with, you know, with what he had. And you can see the landmarks right there, the Sea of Storms. Most of the landmarks are, you know, places where the Apollo 11... Not Apollo 11. The Apollo uh, missions landed, like right there. The Sea of Serenity, which is where I think Apollo 12 landed. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, um, say that is true because then I'm going to look like a total fool to you guys because I'm supposed to know a lot about this. And making a small quick save there. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, let's just skip over that. Uh, yeah, look at the camera right here. Beautiful movement. Steph did a really nice job on it. Right there, I had to make sure that I didn't, you know, uh, just descend in another area of the moon that was completely wrong. So I time warped to get to like a good position and I kind of tried to, you know, did a few maneuvers to try to get it directly on the Sea of Tranquility. So, yeah, see, I'm, I'm kind of pointing a little radial out, like, right there. Yeah, like right there to, uh, you know, basically, you, you know, to, to uh, so, so the trajectory stays on target. That's basically what I'm trying to say here. You're transferring a bit of fuel because, uh, yeah, didn't really, or I don't know if it was that transferring the fuel. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just looking at the footage on screen and being like, ooh. Yeah, I'm, it's going to be a direct um, landing on the Sea of Tranquility, which is nice. Uh, Apollo 11 missed its landing site by like three miles or three kilometers, something like that. And yeah, they landed in a area full of craters. But it's, it's good, you know. Uh, they still got a lot of science and that was great. We know a lot about the moon thanks to the Apollo missions. And there we go, touchdown! Landed on the moon on the Sea of Tranquility. And yeah, now just taking all the fuel from the uh, descent stage and we're gonna band it on the moon soon. Just correcting my orbit there so whenever I launch up again and rendezvous. And let's just fade out to the launch <laughs> the quick save as you can see the flag has been planted and we have taken off from the lunar surface so yeah something i noticed in the new update is that uh in edited solar systems like let's just say you like put another skin on mars 
I don't know if this is just with me or other people are having these problems, but with like Mars or, or basically any other planet with texture, like a revamped texture and a revamped atmosphere, the, uh, the landmarks don't show up, which is kind of strange because are the are the points on the planets themselves or so like if you change if you change the texture like does it um somehow like remove the I, I don't know so yeah that was my rendezvous uh that was the way i rendezvous which is kind of you know nauseating in a way but i mean you know it works and coming into dock. I was really scared of a, you know, of hitting the capsule. I tried to be as careful as possible right there and I couldn't really get a hang of the RC. See, see, that's KSP looking. Anyway, I really couldn't get a hand on the RCS thruster for some reason and it was kind of frustrating. Uh, let's just fire our engine. We're setting our TEI, Trans Earth Injection and boom. There we go. Lowering our periapsis into the Earth's atmosphere now. And just deorbiting that because we don't want any junk around the moon. Did um did Apollo actually deorbit their ascent stage? Or because Scott Manley made a video on it. And I'm wondering, did they really do that? Or I don't know. I they say they did. Well or I'm not sure. And coming up on the atmosphere. Before we enter the atmosphere, we're just going to quickly, like, right in the nick of time, jettison the, uh, thing. The, the thing. <laughs> the service module. And then I realized I didn't have, you know, I had, um, no heat turned on. And there we go. That's why you saw the service module explode a little late. But yeah, streaking through the atmosphere. <laughs> okay, I try to make a David Bowie thing right there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I tried making a, a um... A SpaceX kind of like a parody of Space Oddity, but call it SpaceX Oddity. I teased it once, but I, I never went back to that project because I knew YouTube would not let me upload it because, yeah, the same thing happened with my Squid Game video. I was going to make a video where Markiplier was in Squid Game, but it got, you know, it didn't uh, get... It, it got blocked on basically everywhere, so only I could view it. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, guys, I completely forgot about this. I reached 5K subscribers, or I think I reached 5K subscribers at this point. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So I really, really hope you watch to the end of the video because this is where I give this vital information. Just type in anything in the comments and I'll resp we'll respond to it. I'll make a video about it. I'll make a, you know, Q&A, so... I don't know why I'm saying this at the end of the, of the video. I completely forgot about it. Anyway, socials are in the description. Uh, subscribe, like, and comment, especially comment. Uh, bye.